Welcome back. The Fremantle Dockers had a big win over the Hawks on Saturday night. Justin Longmuir joins me now. Justin, welcome. You must be thrilled to see that kind of result. Yeah, it was a good result, Ryan. Um, probably the first time this year we've felt like um, all aspects of our game have come together, all phases, and it's probably um, yeah the, the, our first four qu quarter performance for the year as well, which was pleasing. Luke Jackson was given a perfect 10 out of 10 by yourself and Sam Mitchell. What pleased you most about his game? Oh, the fact he was able to um, bring all of his game together. Um, I think he had 13 ground ball, we had seven tackles, um, marked the ball strongly, um, hit the scoreboard and, yeah, did his work in the midfield as well. So it was a pretty complete performance and, yeah, I, I, I certainly thought he was best on ground. What did you make of Nat Fife's performance as the super sub? Yeah, I thought he came, on, came into the, the game and, yeah, had, had an impact, got his hands on the footy. I think he had 10 possessions and obviously kicked a goal and had a say in a couple of other scores. So, yeah, he was able to knock a bit of rust off and, yeah, I think it's some, um, yeah, relief to get through his first game. Uh, we were watching him pretty closely before the game and on the bench. It seemed a little different to a normal sub. He didn't seem to be doing too much in the way of warming up. Is that all part of his process with the footy shoot? Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, the plan was to always give him enough time to get that foot ready and get warmed up physically and ready for the game. So, yeah, we're pretty fortunate we didn't have any injuries early in the game and, um, yeah, we were able to time it when he came on. So he did most of his warm-up at half-time and, yeah, was obviously ready to go once he, he came into the game. What will be the plan with Nat this week? Does he start sub again? Uh, still undecided. Uh, we'll get through training tomorrow and see what his progression's right and, um, yeah, make a balance between, yeah, the, his game time f and, and physical preparation versus, you know, his performance and how comfortable he feels stepping into a full game. So make that decision after training tomorrow. You've got a big three weeks ahead, Sydney away, Geelong back here, then Melbourne away. Could this period define your season? Uh, not sure whether to um, say define the season, but uh, it's an important three weeks. Um, against really quality opposition. Um, and, you know, it's really important that we, we start to build on the form that we showed in the weekend and not leave it one and done. So um, the players have really embraced um, the early part of the week. Um, they seem, you know, really focused on um, improving our footy. So that'll be the goal over the next three weeks. The Swans at the SCG on Saturday, Justin. Good luck. Thanks, mate.